Hi, welcome to the show tonight. I'm so glad to have you here again this week. Um, I guess you're wondering what we're going to be talking about and who our mystery guest is. By the way, I'm Kathy Stover. Um, I am one of the co-hosts of the Internet Citadel Show. Just want to give you a quick rundown. We are going to be talking about landing pages and conversions using video. Um, how to explode your home-based business using tested automated techniques. That's an exciting uh, spot for me to uh, listen to. Strategies to increase your affiliate income through the use of Twitter. I don't know about you, I'm a big tweetaholic, so that ought to be a good segment as well. And why a good autoresponder makes all the difference, a proven system with much greater than expected results. So what I would like to do right now is introduce our mystery guest. Um, as you can see, I'm the only one on the screen, so the mystery guest this week is my business partner, my co-host, Brian Kelly, who has a lot to share about the Internet, Twitter, uh, a new program that he's put together. Uh, Brian, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. Yep, the mystery guest has arrived. Uh, <laughs> well, at least the shirt is a little black, kind of like that silhouette picture that we saw on the, on the home page there. But thanks for having me. As usual, Kathy, I uh, love doing these shows with you. Uh, I think we have a, a lot of great stuff in store for folks tonight. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, I think that we ought to go ahead and kind of jump in. Um, do you want to tell us the name of the program that you've put together? Well, sure. Uh, you know, I've spent, it's been now over a year just through trial and error uh, putting together a system, and it was really not by, I, it was not planned. I did not plan to actually make a product out of it, but it was out of need. And basically what it was, is, or what it is, is a marketing system completely based on Twitter, and it's called Tweet Performance. Okay, well, I just want to let everybody know that's watching right now, if you're watching this live or if it's the recorded version, I understand that Brian wants to give folks a special lifetime access to his Tweet Performance for only a dollar. So. We're actually going to give you details about it at the end of the show. So um, let's get started. I put together some questions for you here, Brian. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Um, first, first, what I'd like to uh, what I'd like to say is list building, in fact, can be difficult for beginners to Absolutely. come to grips with. You know, I mean, it was with me. In fact, sometimes it, it still is. Um, Actually, it's a common issue with everybody. So how can you use Twitter for list building? Yeah, in fact, uh, I'm one of those where I struggled for literally years trying to build an opt-in list. At one point, I built a decent one, but the effort it took to build that list was astronomical. It consumed every spare moment of my time. I won't go into the details of that, but it was through a newsletter where I wrote informative articles and did uh, research, investigative work on various at the time it, it, on various network marketing companies. Um, but that was very laborious, very time consuming, very difficult. And it also only brought me opt-ins into a list of one particular niche at a time, and that was folks that were interested in different multi-level marketing opportunities uh, from the vantage point of someone who gave them uh, you know, just the news as it was, so to speak, without any hype or trying to get people involved. So I was very constrained to just this one niche. What has happened with Twitter is it enables anybody to drive an, a lot more traffic to any website of your choosing than any other medium I've ever seen uh, myself personally. It's a phenomenal tool, a resource, and again, like I alluded to before, I spent over a year devising a system and primarily for myself, only for myself, and it, actually I have Kathy to thank because she's the one that kept poking and prodding me to say, you know, to, to actually put it into a product form and tell people or make it available to the public. And so uh, tonight is the very first night we are doing that. In fact, it still isn't, quote, unquote, 100% ready. The product itself is. It's just I have not completed all the work on the front end of the website, the sales page, the ad copy and all that. But I do have, as uh, Kathy, offered, uh, Kathy mentioned, a special offer to mention at the end of the show where you can actually get 
access to the system for life for one dollar. Um, but for Twitter for list building, it's phenomenal. It's but it's not just Twitter by itself. You, you need to have an actual plan of attack. Twitter will get you traffic. That's step number one. What do you do with that traffic? That's what. Uh, that's one of the other things that need that needed to be resolved or solved in this system. Well, one thing that you just mentioned is niche. So, in setting Twitter up as a list building machine, if you will, you can actually use it for different or multiple niches, correct? Yeah, that's one of the other beautiful aspects of Twitter. Uh, the, the old approach was I had a website and I wrote a newsletter that anyone who opted in would get notification of a new uh, newsletter article being uh, published. They would go to that website, read about it, and it was in that one niche. Just one website, one niche. Well, with Twitter, and with the system I've devised, you can now take virtually any affiliate program, for instance, that comes up down the pike, any uh, home-based business, any. Let's say you want to just drive traffic to your blog. Maybe you have. You, maybe you don't even have anything to monetize on your blog, which you know it, it's everyone's choice. But if you want to just drive traffic to any website of your choice, you can set it up using the Tweet Performance System to automate and bring traffic to virtually any any site of your choosing. Uh, so Twitter has broadened the playing field, so to speak. So it's it's enabled. I, there, are, I can't tell you how many times I have seen an affiliate program come in to my inbox. I am, unfortunately, I have opted into probably hundreds of the gurus' uh, opt-in list out there, and I get all the news and stuff. And I'm a techie, and uh, Kathy, we're very much alike in that regard, where we we start salivating and drool in a cup when we see a new program come on, and we want to get it. You know, we're spending money left and right going down that road, but when a new affiliate program comes along that really, really is a good one, if I try it and it works, then I can almost instantly, within a couple of hours, have it completely set up and from that point forward run automatically in an automated fashion. All I have to do is click one button once every morning and let it run all day. Uh, it's that automated. And then traffic, I'll start pulling traffic in to either my, my website or perhaps even to a landing page. Well, you know, typically we're taught to create a squeeze page, yeah. and we drive traffic to our blog or our website. So um, do you do this with the system that you've put together, and what do you use and why? Absolutely. How does it work? Uh, in our last guest that we had on the show, and you can check the past show's link above us, uh, Joel Christopher, the master list builder, he was an expert and still is in building lists. And even on that show he discussed uh, the various niches of he has various lists not all under one autoresponder per se even that he's got multiple autoresponders and multiple niches that he built over a course of time um, absolutely a uh, squeeze page landing page they're synonymous with each other um, we I use and you do too Kathy as as we know of course because we're business partners we know we do each other uh, we use uh, a phenomenal, easy system that is developed and made available to us by GVO. That's why we're wearing these shirts tonight. Uh, it's Global Virtual Opportunities. Yep. I had been a customer of theirs for three years. This was before they changed their name. They used to be known as Kiosk, and I was just a customer for the web hosting. That's basically all I was interested in. They had other products at the time. They did not have the one that I'm about to talk about now, but the one they have now is called Easy Video Producer, and it truly is ED. Uh, easy and you do not even have to have software on your computer to create a video to embed that video on a web page and to have it uh, a, a landing page 100% done except for some minor text editing you put some words in there and a built-in autoresponder with the, with the opt-in capture form all coded and ready to go with your video embedded and it's instantly done. The second you finish recording uh, the video, you can have it up and you can have it blasting to anyone and everyone on the Internet. And you can use the Tweet Performance System to actually send traffic to that particular landing page. And there you start building your opt-in list. As everyone will tell you that's in Internet marketing, Joel Terrian, the CEO of GVO himself, always says, the money is in the list. And they're absolutely right. If you can build an opt-in list and it's a targeted opt-in list, then you are way ahead of the game because, like I said earlier, that is a very, very difficult thing to do. You alluded to that too as well, Kathy. It's very difficult to do if you don't know where to start, and especially before the days of Twitter. It was 
monumentally difficult. I tried everything under the sun, everything you could possibly imagine, all the great affiliate uh, software, and, and I purchased lots of tools, dug into books, nothing ever seemed to work. This one finally, finally uh, put me over that, that hump, so to speak, and now I can actually bring traffic to various websites of my choosing. Well, you know, and you don't have to be a master videographer to be able, you know, to work a flip camera or a webcam and, and hook it up to the system. I agree. I haven't um, ever experienced thus far anything like it where you can just shoot the video, upload it, and, and have it in a, in a lead capture or a squeeze page, like you said. Yeah, yeah. it's phenomenal stuff. So, so with that being said, how important is video? That's, yeah, I get asked that a lot. That's a great question. Uh, Personally, and I'm, I know there are many who will agree with me that I'm sure you've already, you know, the views that are listening have heard from already, but it's extremely important. And uh, I've actually used it in two different ways, but one of the greatest things about video is it helps personalize your message more than anything ever before it could. If you have a blog, for instance, and you type in a blog, people will learn about you. They will learn your personality to a point. Uh, but what they don't see when you're typing these words are your voice, what they don't hear are your voice inflections, what they don't see are your facial expressions, and what they don't see is the genuineness of your message when you're talking to them. That goes a long way. You can get there a lot faster, gaining the, the trust of individuals much quicker via video. Now I'm talking from the aspect of you shooting the video of yourself talking uh, with your face in the camera. There are even other ways of doing this, and I built a, a I consider a pretty good sized list using a non-personal video, and I used a tool called Animoto. Many have heard about it, many have not, uh, where you can basically upload various pictures, type in some text, and within literally 10, 15 minutes, you have a complete video that you can use and uh, upload. To, you can upload to the service we mentioned earlier. You don't have to record it live. So that if you're not good in front of a camera, if you have any kind of voice problems, what have you, if you have any kind of... Uh, just nervousness about it, you can use Animoto to, do the, to uh, do the work for you. Again, I built a sizable list in a couple of months using just Animoto. My face was nowhere to be seen. So video, extremely important, not only important, but extremely valuable and very, very good at converting and getting opt-ins to people to actually trust you enough to type in their email address and their name and uh, send it on to you. It's, it's, it's so extremely Brian, important. That's uh, Animoto.com? Yeah. Is that what it is? Animoto. A -N -I -M -O -T -O. Yeah. And they actually have a free version that you can use. Yes. Or a couple of paid versions, I think. But the, the free version, what you can do up to a minute and a half video, something like and that. And they offer, uh, you can expand that. I think it's for around $30 to get longer uh, videos. The minute and a half, but to be honest. But you can do free, so if you're just starting out, it's, yeah. it's great. Yeah, and to be honest, you know the minute and a half or two okay. minutes or whatever they give you uh, as the free version, that's plenty for a landing page or an opt-in page. Um, one example, well, if if people are either online or go look at this later, just go to tweetperformance.com. That's a perfect example. Tweetperformance.com will take you directly to just a oh, landing yeah. page. It has nothing more than a little video, a short video about a minute in length, and it's just there to to garner interest, enough interest to say, hey. Opt in. There's a title above it to opt in to to be notified when this goes live, when this is available, and that's one of those opt-in pages that is bringing in a, a good dose of opt-ins for me right now. There was one prior to that uh, for a great another program. I'll even mention it's called Tweet Glide by uh, Mike Phil Sames Group. It came out with uh, another phenomenal product. I think it's got a little bugs at this point in time as we're recording this, but I've been in contact with their support. It's doing much better. But I did a, a video for that prior to its launch. That's another thing you can do you can use as a as a approach. If you know of either a product or a company who is about to launch and you know enough or have enough footage or video uh, enough content that you can put into a video to make make it of interest to someone who might want to know when it comes out, you can do something like that. Put together a quick landing page using this easy video producer system. Upload an animoto video if you don't want to put your face in front of it. Have it bullet point all the great benefits and features of this upcoming product and then when the, once the product launches you send out to your list with your affiliate encoded uh, link I've gotten I don't know so how many So video is perfect. Yeah, I've got video a ton is absolutely in my download. perfect to use in, in all different venues. Affiliate yeah. marketing, home based businesses, just on and on. A, lot, a tremendous amount of uses in that way. 
for sure. I got to tell you this. Jim has has made a comment here. He said that um, target marketing, even in Twitter, is tough. He says people from everywhere follow you. How'd you like to address that? Well, I, I discuss uh, pretty much in detail how to acquire more targeted followers, and that's in the tweet performance system. Uh, it's really simple to do, actually. It's not foolproof. Not everybody who follows you is going to be a targeted niche follower but you will have a higher percentage of targeted niche followers. Uh, by doing something very simple, uh, using some powerful software that comes along, that, that is required for this system to work. It's third-party software, by the way. I did not write the software, but it is an integral part of the entire system. The system is comprised of a series of videos that I put together that include a lot of this, all of the setup steps leading up to running or setting up and running the software that I mentioned earlier that is again offered by another company uh, it is I have no control of the price of that that is you know, if you don't have that software the system will not work and the links will be made available to that software as well again I have nothing to do with this company that put it together it's just phenomenal software through my you know Kathy and I've been doing a lot of this together uh, looking at various Twitter based software products many of you I'm sure have heard of this product I'm not going to mention it right now we'll wait till it uh, we do the offer. You can click what, click through and, and click the link and get to it directly there. But uh, what was it, over a year ago, you and I, Kathy, uh, right. entered a contest, a nice friendly contest. You know, we, we decided to, let's see if you can get to 10,000 Twitter followers first. This was a long time ago. This is before, you know, the Twitter clamp down, so to speak, on, you know, calling people spammers and, and uh, suspending accounts willy-nilly, I mean, like they're doing today. It, it's really gotten, in my in my opinion, ridiculous, but I won't go down that path right now. But Kathy and I started with this, this little friendly contest on how to acquire 10,000 followers. That's really how this entire product started. Over a year ago, we started uh, competing with each other, so I started scouring the Internet for the greatest, latest and greatest tools, of, you know, the best following software, the, the, the free software, the paid-for software. I purchased a lot of different types of Twitter-based marketing software uh, over that. Well, the nice thing band. about that is you bought all that stuff so <laughs> that me and everybody else doesn't have to. That You know, that that's true. Uh, that You will reap the benefit of the fact that I spent probably uh, well, well over $1,000 on all this software uh, from... Okay, so you beat me, but, but there was a method to my madness, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> but, you know... It was a friendly competition. I found a piece of software that I didn't tell Kathy about because it was my advantage, you know. So I wanted her to, to get a lot of followers, too. I mean, we, we were doing this for a purpose. Uh, we were doing a big test. I called it my Twitter experiment. Uh, but I got about a, I don't know, what, about a month or a two-month uh, run on her before I unveiled what it was, uh, the software I was using at the time, which is no longer the software I use today. Um, so there is a, a new kid on the block, so to speak, that has... Really, uh, in my opinion, is is just so much better than that first one. No one even knows what I'm talking about, so I'll quit blabbering about it. But well, yeah. So let me say, let me say this, okay? I'm just, you know, because I understand and know how everything works, how the program works. I've, I've been using it myself. Absolutely love it. Um, but from somebody else's point of view, so okay, now you have acquired the traffic. Yes. You know, you've followed all the directions. You've acquired the traffic through Twitter. How can I keep up with everything that I've created? I, I can imagine that there's people out there saying, you know, when I look at Twitter right now, it's confusing enough. And like uh, Jim has said, you've got all these people following you. Yeah. What do you do now that you've created all of this madness, if you will? You've got everybody in that you want. You've created these niche sites and niche accounts through Twitter. What do you do with them? How do you manage it all? Yeah, so that, that's a great uh, lead-in because I, I need to explain a little bit of the system in order to answer that question. And uh, basically, everyone should have a primary, what I call a primary Twitter account, which is your account with your name if you can, uh, if it's available on Twitter. Mine wasn't available. It's a very common name, Brian Kelly. Some guy from England got it. He even spelled it correctly, too. <laughs> a lot of people uh, spell Brian and Kelly differently. Anyway, um, Get your own uh, primary account. I'm sure many who are listening right now have one. If you don't, get one. Start getting your own follower base that way organically uh, just by tweeting now and then. Uh, you don't need to do this every single day. Uh, but Don't have to live on Twitter. That, that's right. Even uh, one of the New Lakers stars, Ron Artest, uh, just recently admitted he's uh, basically a Twitter fanatic. <laughs> he can't get enough of it. 
It's easy to get sucked into it, I'll tell you that. But for the purpose of building a list or getting traffic and what do you do with the traffic after, now you're going to get all this traffic. You're going to get a lot of followers. First, you start with your personal account. You do not use that personal account for business purposes. There are times where you can break that rule. If you have a blog on the side and you want to announce something, your blog is like, it's like your, it's kind of like your home where you live. I've heard this uh, very well described by a guy named Perry Belcher. Many of you have probably heard of him. He, he said it perfectly. Twitter's like going to a party. You have idle chit chat. Now you, your chit chat, during the course of your chit chat, you say, hey, you know, I've got to know you now. Why don't you come on over and, and uh, check, you know, I want to invite you over to my home. Well, that's where you send them over to your blog. And on your blog, that's your home. So when they walk into your, your blog, your home, they'll get to see what you are made of. Me, I'm made of lots of different things and interests. One of those interests are business interests. That's on my blog. It's part of me. That's okay. So it's okay to tweet and send them to a blog post of yours on your blog that's all about you that has something to do with a business, uh, an affiliate program. Hey, I just found this great new affiliate program. So excited. I just wanted to tell everybody about it. Write, it up, write that on your blog. Send, it over, send them over to that from Twitter. Now, you can do that from on occasion from your personal account without losing, you know, getting a big drop off in followers uh, if you just do it occasionally. What we're talking about, though, are full-blown marketing machines uh, via additional Twitter accounts. And the beauty of this approach is it really minimizes the amount of effort it takes because of the system that I've developed. Uh, it minimizes the amount of time that's necessary in interacting with folks uh, live, real time. Um, yes, you want to do that from time to time as well. But uh, this approach, the way we're doing this, you will not have to really worry about all the DMs you're getting or the tweets that come, the mentions, this, that, and the other. Uh, because of this system and its nature, and that's all explained inside the system. I hate to be secretive about it, but I don't. All, it could take all night. The, the videos, all the videos comprised okay, well, are over an hour. The videos are length. very well put together, so they. I mean, yeah. I've been through them several times, and they explain it very, very well, extremely well. So yeah, and it's pretty cumbersome. So it's not not something that you could even you could even do in the hour hours time that we have but right. with that being said the videos are very well put together in that you can sit down and start watching them and stop them and move on and actually go through the processes while you're showing them so mm -hmm. it's extremely well put together and it's very understandable so I wanted wanted to point that out um, the other thing is, you don't have to tell me how many, okay, because, I mean, you beat me in the onset um, <laughs> with, with your first account, but you do have several, several accounts out there yes. that, since you put this together and started mastering um, the whole process um, and, and putting it together, so you have several accounts that you have, have uh, listed through Twitter that are niche-based, mm -hmm. that are bringing you some revenue and um, just doing some really good positive things for you. So if you're automating everything and um, is building, well, let me back up, is building quality relationships with prospects or customers not as important in, with this type of setup? I mean, is that kind of covered? I, I would have to say the answer to that is yes, that it is not as important, as important. didn't say it's not important, but it's not as important. Uh, it, it all depends okay. really on what it is you're promoting though. Uh, I have one account that is dedicated toward uh, promoting a fitness business I'm involved in. Um, on From time to time I do check on that account and get personal with it because it's more of a personal type business. It's people working out and getting fit and that kind of thing. It all depends on it. If it's an affiliate program that's just, let's say it's a piece of software like uh, TweetLide, something like that. Very little personable personalization going there because you send them to either a, a landing page or you send them to your blog, and that's where the personalization uh, comes into play because that's your home once again. And I have so like a like a ClickBank product or something like that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you yeah exactly, exactly. A ClickBank product. You know, and again on my blog, I'm more of a video guy. I've got more video than I have text, which is probably not a good thing for search engines. I need to put more text. But I really like doing the video because, you know, people will know what makes me tick. They'll know who I am, and that could be good or that could be bad, but that's who I am, and, you know, I'm, I'm just putting it out there, and that's the personalization aspect of it. For me, it comes through just uh, doing a lot of videos. I've got my son's basketball games on my blog, for instance. Right. Um, I try to put – I went to an, a, an air show 
recently, uh, which was phenomenal. I uh, filmed that while I was there, put that on my blog. I also put business videos. I put everything on my blog because that's my life. It is my life. It's a, you know, not everything I do every day, but it, it's a good representation of what I do. And so, yeah, it's not as important, but it, you know, personalization is always important to some extent, but I would say it's not as important using the approach I have because it can't, it wouldn't work if it was. <laughs> In other, right. You don't have, you, there's no way you would have the time physically unless you hired a bank of people to do all of this on your behalf if you were to personalize each and every one of these accounts uh, that you open up for these individual niches. It just, it'd be impossible. The system wouldn't work. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of the system, that it doesn't have to be uh, micromanaged on a day-to-day -day basis. It truly is. It's very, very close to being automatic. Well, let me throw this out at you then. So if it's not, you know, we're talking about building quality relationships, you know, with your customers and prospects, and you said it is important, not as important, you know, with it being this automated. So we need our potential customers or subscribers to feel you know, like they know and trust us. That that's an important part. So, with that being said, autoresponders would, in particular, play a very important role because we can create that connection through an autoresponder. Absolutely correct. That is one way to do it. Absolutely, uh, you could basically write a. You could have already banked up and ready to go a whole series of messages that go out if that's what you choose to do, or you can broadcast messages whenever the time comes. At a, let's say that a launch is coming up of a product and you want to be able to tell them real close to the time that that occurs, you can schedule a message to go out very near that launch date and time. Uh, autoresponders are phenomenal. They take a lot of work out of your hands as well. That's why they're called autoresponders. They respond automatically. And it, you know how you use them again it, it, it depends on the exact niche you're working in and what you're trying to achieve with it but autoresponders are an absolute must if you have a, if you are acquiring a list that list is typically being funneled into an autoresponder a database within an autoresponder very common one is aweber i currently now use the gvo e responder it's called um, gvo just has the full suite of products that i need they've got hosting video uh, producing as we've been talking about video producing and hosting very much like YouTube but I think even better because I'm not limited to 10 minutes I'm limited on file size not time um, it has uh, you know video conferencing live conferencing so if, if you want to communicate with folks and, and share your screen or have live chat on top of video live uh, it's a phenomenal tool uh, they, they have more than I personally use right now I don't even use that conferencing tool yet I know I will in the future but right now I, I don't even use that tool. Uh, they have the e-responder, which I mentioned. Uh, the, 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 the web hosting, which comes as part of their package, is, I, I don't know how many websites I have now. I have too many to think off the top of my head, but because I have a web host at a very low price, in my estimate, in my opinion, they're very low price, I create web, I can create a website, you know, within a half a day and have it up and running because I have my own web hosts. I have my own server that I can go to at any time during the day. Well, It's got everything I but need. But the thing about that, yeah, I'm sorry, but the thing about that is you don't necessarily have to have your right. own, correct? But by having a good connection and a good product like that, you can keep cranking out blogs for these niche Twitter Perfect. accounts that you've set up, along with the video uh, lead capture page or the auto-responding system, and just have a whole system going there along with right. the tweak performance that you know you kind of funnel things through. You said so the absolute perfect word which I was going to talk about is blog. Most people don't need a web host uh, account. They don't need to be able to create or generate websites. But a blog, especially specifically WordPress, is so unbelievably easy to produce. It's literally a click of a button, and then you start putting posts up. There's some setup and configuration, uh, some things you could easily find on Google, for instance. You can Google on, on, you know, WordPress for dummies, whatever. You know, WordPress 101. You'll get some great content there. Get you up and running in no time. After you've done a blog once, like like, like Kathy said, you can create multiple blogs. And as we had uh, on a previous show, Tony Teagarden. We went over the whole, you know, selection yeah. of which blog, you know, WordPress or Blogger. There are others out there. WordPress was 
all of our favorites, and but WordPress has two different versions. One is they host it on their servers, or the other is you host it on your servers. And there are a lot of reasons. You can go back to that past show on that link up there to find out the reasons. But the, the best one to go with is the one that you host yourself, which is we turn right back around and, hey, kiosk, now known as GVO. That's where, I, that's where I host all of my websites and blogs. It's literally at one click. And WordPress is installed up and running. You type in a few words. You've got a blog instantly. And it's on your own server. You're hosted. You can upload your own images to it. They're all yours. It's not hosted on someone else's machine that they have more uh, governing reign over or ownership of. So, yeah, blogs are the primary reason for a newbie to get a web host account. And, uh, you know, we would highly recommend GVO. Click on the link below us. There's a GVO link down there. Um, as it states, there's a, when you get to that $1 trial for 14 days, go through all the tools and resources, and if it's just something that doesn't interest you after that, you can cancel and get, get you know, you've only spent a dollar. Other than that, it's forty-four ninety-five a month, which, given everything that they provide with the video, the hosting, the hosting by itself, by the way, I was paying forty-four ninety-five just for hosting. When they became GVO, they they uh, encapsulated all of their products: video, autoresponder, this uh, online conferencing utility, a, a competition witness program. Uh, that sounds such so funny, uh, and. Uh, there are others in there. There's a, a prospecting tool. There's all sorts of stuff back there. They did not up the price. It's forty four ninety five a month. I use it. Kathy uses well, hey. it. Um, I've had them for three years. Their support's phenomenal. I can't say enough about them. So we're talking about tweet performance and Twitter, but it's really a package. Without all the other extraneous tools, I don't know if I could make this system work the way it does. They aren't. You know, it's it's not a big mountain of stuff. It may sound like it right now. If you do it one step at a time, acquire uh, tweet performance, you can get it for a dollar. And as we mentioned, um, we'll, we'll tell you exactly how that works. But Well, you know what I want to see right now? Yeah. I, I want to see. We were talking about Animoto. Yeah. A free, free video. I want to see, because it's break time. Remember, you yes. get like a little break in between here. <laughs> It's break time. I want to see that new Animoto video that you put together on Tweet Performance. That way everybody can take a look, see how the video works. It's a great idea. It's a free video program, and uh, let it roll. All right. We'll be back in just about a minute, and we'll be back and continue on here. Welcome back. Um, I'm excited about the topic that we're talking about tonight. Um, as Brian had mentioned, I use it as well, and it has exploded um, not only some of the affiliate businesses that I have, but also um, a couple of multi-level marketing companies that I'm involved with as well. So um, one of the things that we were going to talk about was how to explode your home-based business using your automated techniques. What can you share with us as far as utilizing this system through Twitter to help in an MLM? That's, a, that's excellent. Um, I've had very good success in promoting GVO itself using this very system. Uh, I have several Twitter accounts all dedicated to basically different marketing mediums that are available both directly through GVO and through external sources. Uh, I should have actually listed those on the site. I, I wish uh, we, it, it's okay. Uh, when people come on to GVO, if they come on with Kathy or I, we can show you all the different marketing avenues. But 
depending on, let's, let's make this generic, let's say it's any MLM out there. Every MLM offers marketing uh, materials and by the way of some do landing pages, some will just uh, send people directly to a sales page to hopefully get somebody to join right away. Um, a lot of the leaders in, that join companies will develop their own systems and either offer them at a price or give them for free to their teams, etc. So what I've done is I've taken the whole combination of all that, in this case with GVO, and I, I have a dedicated Twitter account for each one of those types of marketing avenues that I wish to hit, that I wish to have traffic go to. And so I'm a big fan of what I tell Kathy of something I call carpet bomb marketing. If there's a way to market something and it looks like it's viable, it's in integrity based, then I'm going to send traffic to it to try to market my business. So I use Twitter to drive traffic to a number of different avenues to help um, the odds of my bringing people into business uh, grow. And what has happened as a result, in my opinion, is truly astounding because MLM is a personable business. You must or you used to have to always pick up the phone and talk to an individual That's most okay. of the time before anyone would join a business. And I've been through many MLMs. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I used to co-own a travel-based company for six years. I've been in this industry a long time. It's very difficult to recruit or sponsor folks that you've never physically talked to on the phone before. Uh, it does happen, but it's typically a rare instance. I can say, ex with the exception of Kathy and a couple of close friends that we kind of follow in packs on different, on different opportunities, with the exception of those select few, I have, every person I have recruited into GBO has come without ever picking up the telephone. In fact, and this, I, I, I'm ashamed to even say this, a lot of them that have come in, I have never even contacted via email yet. But all that to say that this system has broken that barrier, I've never seen that happen before. And I, I truly didn't, I didn't know what to expect, but I was trying it. I'm carpet bomb marketing. I'm hitting everything from every avenue, and it's working. I'm getting people to join this business without ever picking up the phone. I basically, I run through the setup steps that are provided in the video series. I uh, get the account set up. I click one button in the morning on the on the software, and it I say cooks all all day long. It simmers, it does its thing, and you know once or twice a week I'll come back and see that I've got a new sign up. It, it's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Well, you know the nice thing the nice thing about the system that you've put together for me and for anyone, you can pick niche products, and it can be. You know, you can start with a main niche and kind of drill down and do several things that are within the context of, of an original niche and just crank out yeah. the Twitter accounts and put the information out there within minutes, within minutes. And the nice thing about it is if it's something that you put out there and it doesn't hit and it's not working, you can move right on to the next thing because there are so many products out there that you can advertise, and one thing you mentioned was integrity. You look for integrity-based companies. You do not sell things that you have not tried. Again, I yes. say thank you. There was a method to my madness. You bought all that stuff, and you know, I would love to say I just sat back. I was working like crazy to beat you, but you know, it didn't work <laughs> out because you found the thing. But, um, but seriously, if with with all of the products and the different avenues and the different things out there, you can just put it out there and have tons of stuff coming in. It's just it's wide open, even with some of the parameters that Twitter has incorporated of late. So, um, yeah. Yeah, by parameters, I, I suspect you're alluding to their uh, their kind of clamping down and tightening of their rules, so to speak, of what you can and cannot yes. do on Twitter. Right. And, and you know, and let, let's talk about that just a minute because you know what happened to me, you know, for a couple of weeks. Yes. I had some accounts that were shut down for, <laughs> you know, I have no idea why. <laughs> totally knocked me off my access, but um, that was access. A -S -S. Yeah, I heard that. Very good. Knocked me off my access. <laughs> but um, and at any rate, you know, it was resolved. I still don't know what the issue was, but you have also, because of that, you know, I just thought about, about the other uh, yeah. deal that you've come up with I was, to kind of circumvent that. I was, I was heading down that path mentally myself as well. Oh. Well, let's back okay. up. I want to, I, I do a comparison, and I don't mean this in a mean way, but it's just a way to get the mind around it. I liken uh, Twitter 
the folks in the support department of Twitter, and I don't mean this in a mean way personally to, on any one individual, but I liken them to be very similar to that of the IRS, which I don't want to get them mad either, of course. <laughs> but this is this is actually this is true. This stuff has happened in both instances. If you call the IRS, they okay. The IRS has a very well defined, albeit very large and confusing, set of rules uh, that we all must abide by. If you were to pick up the phone and call an agent on a specific ruling, you know how can I go about this particular blah blah this clause? How, which way can I go with my taxes on that? You'll get an answer. Now you hang up the phone and you call right back. You'll get a different agent most of the time because there's a lot of agents, a lot of calls coming in. The odds are you're going to get a completely different answer. It's a, it's based on the interpretation of the actual written rules and clauses that right. are in the tax guide. So what's happened? I've seen this happen, and not not in such a grand scale, or it's not a black and white thing with with what's how it's going on Twitter, but it's similar where. Kathy and I have actually dealt with different individuals on the Twitter support side of things and gotten different results on the same exact topic. You know, hey, I've got an account that was suspended. Why? One would give one reason, another would give another reason. One would say, I'm going to reinstate you. The other one would say, no, I'm not, because you did not adhere to the policy, blah, blah, blah. So it's gotten to the point where it's become very Google-like. Remember in the early days, it was much easier to do much more with Google, but, you know, those who weren't so much on the up and up and their practices caused the, you know the, the ratcheting down of the rules I, I call it to occur you know Google AdWords is a great example um, and I said this Kathy if you remember way back when we first started Twitter that mark my words Twitter will end up going down that same growth path where they are going to start really clamping down on the rules so I said let's go in let's get as many followers as we can now before they start coming up with rules saying we can't do it the way you we're doing it right now making those changes yeah we were doing nothing wrong at the time Definitely weren't. I mean, we were following, you know, adhering to their policies, procedures, and bylaws, and blah blah blah. But you know, those rules have changed over time. All that to say, so what's yeah, happened is, so you came up with, you right. have come up with something pretty cool. Yeah. Well, I didn't come up with it, but um, what has happened is Twitter has become less and less business friendly. Um, you know, anybody can call anybody else a spammer now with a click of a button. Uh, Twitter added this new feature click to say he's a spammer, he, she's a spammer. Well, let's say I'm competing with somebody out there. Let's say I'm competing with Kathy. Kathy says, hey, Brian's got this great product, but I have one similar to it. I want to beat him. He's a spammer, he's a spammer. Hey, all my friends, go call him a spammer, get him shut down. It just, it allowed the people to become the police. And that's dangerous, very dangerous. I mean, it's so simple. Why do you have to call somebody a spammer when all you have to do is click on the block link? Or, uh, it's just this issue, this really... Yeah, you just delete them and block them, right? Block them. The only reason you're seeing their tweets to begin with or getting their DMs is because you followed them, right? Simple. If you don't want to see their stuff anymore, either block them, click unfollow them, them, either one. Block is the best. Simple. You don't need to click spam and ruin someone's livelihood. You know, if someone's doing something that's on the up and up, why... Uh, anyway, because of all that... Yeah. Because of all that, a new uh, service came along. It's an open source uh, project that enables basically anyone to start their own microblog service. It's not for the, the weak of heart when it comes to technology. You need to know a little bit about it to install it and, and then maintain and run it. So I came up with the idea of let, let's, let's create a Twitter-like microblog service that is business friendly, that you know, we won't shut you down because you know, Kathy called me a spammer. You know, we're not going to shut you down because you actually advertise something to make money. I mean, people are people. People do business. I don't understand. I don't understand this. Spam has been so overused, it's unbelievable. The word spam used to be, you know, used to have a whole different meaning than it has today. That it's well, the used. word spam used to be the, the yucky meat that my mom <laughs> could make 500 meals with in a can. Yep, and that's Sorry, just... Mom. <laughs> And that stuff still exists, doesn't it? <laughs> I know. It does. But uh, because of that, I, I, I created something. It's in beta. It's called. Uh, it's another microblogging service similar to Twitter. It's called MeSay. It's M-E-E-S-A-Y dot com. Kind of like MeSay, I say, you say. Just kind of a quirky little name, but MeSay dot com. So go ahead and go over there. Uh, follow Brian Kelly. Follow Kathy Stover. Instead of well, the cool thing about that is you can use your system with that program as well. Yes, uh, to a point. Yes, 
It is integrated yes. uh, because of one of the components of the system is already tied into it. That is a true statement. Right. It's not 100% all the way through tied through to it, but if if this enough, if this new microblog gains enough prominence and gets enough uh, notoriety, then I can easily approach the makers of the software that I mentioned earlier that I don't own, that I did not write, I have nothing to do with this company. I can approach them and say, hey, any chance of you making your software also work with this other this service, program. not just with uh, Twitter? And that that's kind of the goal is to try to make this other microblog a a place for business people and for personal, I mean, anything you want, but it, it's going to be less uh, restrictive on the, this whole spamming, and I don't, you know, hey, I don't like the way you said that today, so I'm going to call you a spammer, click. It, it's ridiculous. So I really love Twitter. I truly hope that um, cooler heads will prevail, that they'll remove that spam link. Uh, maybe by the time you see this video as it's being recorded, and it's a recorded video, hopefully it's gone by now, but I doubt it. Uh, I just hope so. I hope they loosen the reins on all this spam nonsense. The fact that, you know, people do tweet about personal things, but people are more than just uh, that. We we have to earn a living. We are in business as well. That is part of who we are. If if it isn't part of who you are, then you're probably not, you're not viewing this video right now. You wouldn't own a computer to view it on. You have to make money. So business is part of everyone's life. So why can't it be part of what we tweet about? I, I, I just have a a core uh, resistance against what I see happening in Twitter right now. Still love it, still use the heck out of it, um, and will as long as I'm allowed to and don't get shut down myself. <laughs> well, you know, another, another nice thing about uh, the program that you put together, and just to let people know, it can be totally, well, I mean, pretty totally automated. So... With that, if you wanted to go in and throw a few manual blurbs here and there, tweets, you can. If you're in there just looking at the account for whatever reason, you can manually put tweets in there. It's not that it's totally automated and you can't go in and Correct. do something. Correct. So if you happen to be in there and you see somebody shoot something across that's of interest or whatever, or you want to put some information or even upload a video on something that you see, you can yeah. do that as well. So... Yeah, and that's, that's included in the, this video series as well. Uh, there, there is a way I found to very quickly, and you, you, you can do this once every three days. You can do it once a week. That's plenty. But you can, at a, in a glance, see all of your Twitter accounts on basically one screen, and you can scroll down, and you can basically skim over. You know, First go down the mentions column. See if there's anything in there that looks of interest that you need to reply to. You can use this other uh, service that's also mentioned in the in the video series and click on reply right from it. You don't have to be in Twitter on a Twitter website. You can be inside the service. You can reply to DMs if something jumps out at you. So there's all these time-saving uh, techniques. If you want to personalize, if you need to personalize something, uh, say like this fitness business I talked about earlier, then this is a great tool. You can you can basically skim every Twitter account you have that you've loaded into this uh, this service. It's very simple to do, and it's all there in one one view, and it's all based on timeline. So it's you know the latest one comes in first, and so on. And you can just skim down and decide on which of those to react to, if any. Typically, most often, for me personally, I rarely have to uh, respond to any of them. Most of them seem to be, unfortunately, especially on the DMs, is hey, I just uh, I just uh, joined the mafia. I'm family. giving you, you some sunshine. Too. Yeah, you know, you get all these uh, automated DMs that come through that are, you know, I don't, I don't block anybody or anything for that because there are some DMs that I get that I do see that are of interest, uh, especially on my personal Twitter account. I have purchased Twitter software as a result of DMs that came through. Uh, so that is one of the most powerful features it's a, of Twitter. It's good information. It's a good yeah. way to uh, keep on top of what's happening with yes. recent software releases and that that kind of thing. Yeah, it's so. kind of kind of neat to see the wave of what people follow because they come in waves. You know, you'll get one popular new program come out and you'll see a wave of DMs or Everybody. even tweets about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's kind of neat because you get to kind of see what the pulse of of the internet is, you know, the people that are on the internet. What are people doing right now? What is really working? Some of them are just doing it out of excitement and hadn't really reviewed it yet. I mean, you click on it, you go look at it. Pretty quickly, you can determine whether it's quality product or service or not. But it's it's interesting to to always 
I'm always learning, always looking for something new, um, something better. Uh, that's basically how Tweet Performance came about. It may change over time uh, from now, but you know, if I find something better, definitely I'm going to inject it into my system. Uh, but for now, well, basically, know, um, and real quick, I want to mention that Tweet Performance is not, it's not something that I just sat down and started creating on my own. I have collected information during that year. I've collected information and resources and software, and just from trial and error and experimentation, came up with the system as it is today. I did not create everything. There are some techniques you'll see in the videos that you probably have seen before if you have purchased any other uh, Twitter info product in the past. But it isn't that system in entirety. It's not this system in entirety. It's the best that I found. I took pieces out of several systems, came up with a few of my own, especially when it's concerned with the, the software itself and how I utilize the software. All that combined is the Tweet Performance System. So I just want to make sure people know that you know, I didn't create this from, from scratch. It's a, it's a collection, a culmination of things I have experimented with in a long, over a long period of time that, that work. They just, it works. Well, thank you for making that very clear for us because um, sometimes you don't get that with people out there and you just assume that's what it is. But yeah. um, I can tell you, and it's not just because we're friends and we work together. Folks, I have used this uh, this product and the techniques that he's put together. One of the last questions that, one of the last I was going to say was, would you say your process is easy to fully implement, and does it um, have all the criteria that you need to get started? And I can actually answer that for <laughs> I was you. I'm just going to recommend that. <laughs> yeah, you know, I think I can answer that for you. Um, you know, something that if you've watched our show before that we that we kind of throw back at each other is the fact that uh, that in integrity is important and character is important and it is it's a very important thing and there are so many things out there on the internet it's hard to know what to buy and I can tell you this the the things that he's put together and what he has just told you is some of the things that are in what he has are are products that he has found and it's time tested and proven I use the system. I have several Twitter accounts myself, not as many as Brian has. It's a wonderful way to work from home as we both do. Um, we are both involved in some MLMs and affiliate marketing and some other things. And this is a phenomenal GVO we're in. And you've seen this. We've worn our shirts before and we have the links and his tweet performance links. Whoops, there we go down there. Um, but But it works and it makes it easy to understand and put into small bits. It's like a friend of ours, Joanne, I love how she always says, you can't eat an elephant at once, you have to you know, take, eat it one bite at a time. At a time. And, and that's true, and with this system, you can actually stop the videos and look, and it tells you exactly, Brian's very clear on where to go and, and how to utilize, and walks, walks you through the uh, processes. Um, so. It is a start from here, take you to there uh, system, and it, it is absolutely phenomenal. Um, the, the other thing that I wanted to say, you were talking about DMs and, and finding products, and I want to mention our friend Glenn England. Um, he's really good at that scouring and looking for new products as well and brings those to our attention uh, from time to time, and that's from going through DMs, and some of that is through one of these um, uh, software programs that Brian has within his system, uh, Glenn utilizes as well. So there are several of us that are working with this software and this program. Um, it's great. Uh, I do want to kind of go back over because I think we're kind of getting near the end, but I wanted to go back over some of the things that we've talked about tonight, if that's okay. Absolutely. And that is you've shared with us the importance of landing pages and um, conversions and about video. Um, how to explode our home-based business and how we can utilize some of the, the tools and information that we use with GVO along with the system tweet performance that you've put together um, to increase our affiliate income by picking niche uh, products, um, the importance of using autoresponders and how we can use video and autoresponders and, and um, bring in more traffic. But I think the biggest thing that I want to say is, and I mentioned this at the top of the hour, and that was 
that this is the first time that Brian has offered or talked in public about his tweet performance product to any degree. And so I'd like for you to share again what it is that you are offering for the folks that are on with us live tonight, and we'll see the recorded version. And the reason this is the first time it's being, quote, unquote, unveiled to the public is because it hasn't been ready until now. And, in fact, as I mentioned earlier, it's still not 100 percent complete. The product itself is. The videos are done. They're all accessible. As you heard, Kathy, she's already been through all of them several times through the actual website itself. Here's the deal. Here's the deal on the offer. What, you know, I went over this over and over and over trying to figure out what price point to make this. And I came up with two options. And this is something that Kathy had helped me with. Kathy and I bounce everything off each other, help each other out. What do you think of this? What do you think of that? So I've got a two-pronged approach. One is one of the options that's going to be offered on the main page once it's up and available and done is going to be just pay $97 one time, and you have access lifetime to the series of videos and any updates that come along the way. The other option, though, I don't want to pull deep money out of people's pockets or money out of people's deep pockets either way. I wanted to make this a no-brainer. As you have heard many times, Kathy and I are involved in GVO as a business. Again, I started as a customer paying $44.95 a month for a web hosting service, and they had not responded back then as well. So I was paying for basically two things, $44.95. I was not involved in this as a business. When you take us up or when you take me up on this $1 offer, the $1 doesn't come to me. It goes to GVO. And what it will give you is that 14-day free trial we alluded to earlier. And you have 14 days to try out GVO. If you don't like it, cancel it. I'm going to still honor and allow you to continue to have access to tweet performance lifetime, you know, for as long as it exists. So I feel that that confident in GVO and what it provides. There are many of you undoubtedly that have other host providers already that you're happy with, HostGator. There's a lot of other ones that are much cheaper. I have found over a vast number of years of experience, too many, more than I actually like to admit, that most often the case you get what you pay for, what you pay for. $44.95 a month, again, is not just web hosting in this case anymore. It is so much more, as we alluded to earlier. So it's $1 for the trial for 14 days. You kick the tires. If it's not something you want to utilize as a product, I'm not even talking about the business here. Just think of it from a product use standpoint, Internet marketing, social marketing, WordPress blog creation, all the things we mentioned earlier, the video, opt-in pages, all that. If it's not for you, cancel it, and you will still have lifetime access to the Tweet Performance system. All you have to do is go to the link below, Tweet Performance link, if you're on internetcitadel.com watching the show there. Otherwise, go to, and this is all in words, no digits, $1.tweetperformance.com. So that's O-N-E-D-O-L-L-A-R dot tweetperformance.com. And that will take you to the same spot. There will be a link there for you to click. The steps are real easy. You enroll in GVO for the products themselves, the services. They're really services more than products because they're all electronic. And then it gives you all the instructions there, but basically you come back, you fill in the information that the form provides for you to fill in to prove that you paid the $1 because, again, the dollar doesn't come to me. We have to check our back office. Kathy and I have to check our GVO back office to ensure that you indeed did pay that dollar. There is proof back there. And once you're in, I will create your account, and you'll be emailed, and you'll get the access to the Tweet Performance system. And, again, there is third-party software involved in this. It costs money. This is above and beyond the $1. There's nothing I can do about that. I have purchased it myself. Kathy has purchased it. You know, I purchased it. You explain it in your – you have it very well explained in the – yeah, when you go to the $1. I purchased the unlimited version. I think you have that too, Kathy. You know, it ranges in price depending on the version you get, depending on the number of Twitter accounts you want to start with. So you can start small and move up. Again, that's not my software, and it's just part of the system. But the bottom line is you have put together a phenomenal system that that software resides in. So 
Yeah, it's one piece Everybody of a bigger just puzzle. Needs to... It's a piece of a bigger yeah. puzzle, but it's like the central piece. Without it, this system goes nowhere. Uh, that's how I started. That's how Kathy and I started. It was again on that contest. We started with one former software that worked very well. This software came along, was, in my opinion, much better, provided more of what I wanted and needed for marketing purposes. So I began using that software and then put all these pieces around it to do the setup both before and then what to do after uh, the, you run the software. So it's, it's all part of a comprehensive system. So there you have it. That's it. Uh, I'd rather people take the $1 offer than the $97 offer because it costs them less. It's $44.95 a month after the 14 days. Yes, that gives you two months before you've paid close to $97, and you can cancel GBO at any time. So it, you get more bang for your buck. Uh, the other thing is, if you do actually use GVO as a business, you can use the Tweet Performance System, as I do and as Kathy does, to bring in folks to this business, and that will self-subsidize your forty-four ninety-five a month. I don't. I, I made a. We just got our checks today, and I, I did no. I had no problem <laughs> beating that forty-four ninety-five. I mean, that that was a drop in the bucket. So, choice is yours. Uh, so I if the offer's on the table, it's $1 uh, to get Tweet Performance, whether you stick with GVO or not. Um, just asking you to jump through that one hoop, and it's yours for life. So I want to say this. Um, it's been kind of fun. It's been fun having you as our mystery <laughs> guest tonight. Um, next week, it will not be a mystery guest, and we will be putting some information out on that soon as to our, who our guest will be next week. Um, we are 100% free 100% of the time. By putting uh, Brian's Tweet Performance product out on the table today, because he is our mystery guest, um, that is what we are showing as an offer today. But the information that, uh, that we're sharing with you is free of charge, and we're both hoping that you have received from ben some benefit from it. And uh, we hope that you will continue to receive benefit each week as we bring new uh, new guests. So, Brian, thank you so much for letting me ask the questions and for finally putting it out here because um, it's been a while, but you've done phenomenal and I'm really excited about it. And I'm excited for people to take a look at it as well. Yeah, so, it's been a lot of fun from doing Northern it. California, I'm going <laughs> to say. Well, real quick, real quick before you. Yes, yes, I know yes. we're five minutes over, but uh, we got to do. We, Kathy and I have a lot of fun, um, and we want to portray that a little bit on this show. She doesn't even know I'm about to do this yet, and it's not what you think, Kathy. So don't get nervous. I'm not going to ask you that one question. Uh, but oh, okay. everyone uh, huh? there can see Kathy now, and now here is her twin sister. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> That's Bonnie Hunt, and she's been told time and again that she uh, has a, a quite a oh resemblance. My <laughs> and uh, <laughs> so, for those of you that think uh, she funny. looks like Bonnie, say, you know, type in Y on the chat or N oh, if you think she looks like Bonnie Hunt. But uh, there is a striking resemblance, in my opinion. Um, I never oh, thought about funny. it until someone else brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> And but then yeah. I'm not going to put my Billy Bob teeth in my mouth. <laughs> oh, that 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 will be a great show. We got to do that. But thank you uh, too again. Bad Halloween's over. Thank you again, Kathy, <laughs> for uh, doing a great job and running the show today. And it was a lot of fun. This is exact. This is this is what we had intended to do from day one. Just have Kathy and I talk. But uh, we started bringing on guest speakers and thought that was a pretty good idea too. Be sure to click the past shows link. Look at the past shows. They're 100% free, 100% of the time. Great content, and they're very valuable content. Could easily be sold for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. No kidding. Uh, Joel Christopher, Tony Teagarden, uh, Lou Abbott. We've had some Lou great Abbott. guests. Yeah, uh, Bram Smith. Bram Smith. Great guests. Uh, in the future, we plan to land some other folks uh, that may surprise you uh, in different different arenas of business. Uh, but we're, we're pretty excited. Don't, we're don't say any more. Don't say any more. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> All right. So go ahead. Uh, now, now you can continue on your closing statement. Now you're telling me. Now I can say goodbye. I'm yeah. signing out from <laughs> from the Sierra Nevada foothills in Northern go. California. Thank you so much, everybody, for being on tonight. Brian, thanks again. It's been a pleasure as always on Tuesday night. Hope <laughs> to see you guys next week. Good night, Brian. All right. Good night, Kathy, and good night all.